Hello, my name is Ian Short and I'm a broadleaf silviculture researcher in the Chagas Forestry Development Department. My research work related to ash dieback began in 2010. After seeing numerous broadleaf plantations that were not performing well, I started a programme of research to investigate alternative silvicultural systems. This research involved practices such as coppicing, underplanting, free growth and felling of small coops. With the confirmation of ash dieback in Ireland in 2012 and linked to other research results from continental Europe, it became clear that some of the work I was doing on remedial silviculture would also be applicable for the mitigation of ash dieback in Ireland. My research over the last decade has allowed me to provide guidance to policy makers and forest owners to help deal with this rapidly developing disease. The remedial silviculture work I started in 2010 continues to produce results of significance to the management for ash dieback. For example, the systematic thinning of this ash stand and underplanting with alder in 2010-11 has been very successful and has introduced a follow-on crop that will take over from the ash when it is finally felled. My research over more than a decade has indicated three options for silviculture management of stands affected by ash dieback. One, timely thinning and underplanting of less severely affected stands so that a gradual and continuous conversion is possible. This involves the felling of some lines or groups of trees with subsequent replanting with suitable species. Two, clear felling the ash and replanting the site as a woodland plantation with other appropriate tree species. And three, conversion to agroforestry by felling some or all the ash, replanting at a low stocking rate and reseeding to introduce pasture amongst the trees. Appropriate tree protection will be required if the site is to be grazed, else the pasture could be cut for silage as the trees mature. With each of these three options, where practical, trees that appear tolerant or resistant to ash dieback should be maintained as these could assist the ash dieback breeding program as described by Dr. Dirash Rathor. To mitigate future risks and to increase future forest resilience, replanting should be done with a mix of site suitable species and, when it becomes commercially available, some of this could include ash dieback resistant ash. <laughs>